Hello everyone. If you know who I am and what we do on this channel, welcome back. Uh, just want to ask, did you hit that subscribe button yet? If not, please do so. If you don't know who I am and you're new to this channel, I'm the Reverend Godfather, main host and front man for the Long Coat Mafia podcast. Links to the audio podcast are in the description down below, as always, along with all our links to our social media and other outlets, and so forth and so on. And what we do on this channel is pretty much uh, unboxings, reviews, rants, raves, contours, and uh, so forth and so on. And today is pretty much no different. Uh, if you're new here, please uh, hit that subscribe button, that way you're not missing an episode because... Who knows what's going to happen on this channel? Uh, and for everybody who's a regular, yep, I do have fire. And it's a breezy day, so me getting, there's a prop, possibility of me getting lit on fire today, as, along with sharing with you what I have to share with you today, and that is I got a mystery package. <laughs> it's from Bloke Games. Uh, what is it? I don't know. Uh, it could be the Kickstarter I ordered. It could be pretty much anything. It could be something I put in for or ordered months ago. Um, I don't know. I said this could be part of a Kickstarter uh, I did because I did get a notification that, uh, well, my Kickstarter version of it or the print copy is coming. And it could take a couple of days. It could take two weeks. And that it was media mail. That's what this is, media mail. Uh, let's open it up to see what is it. Because I don't remember. I don't remember. I know somebody said, what are you using a box that looking like that for? Yeah. My channel, I get to do what I want. So. Oh, yep. I kind of expected it to be thicker, and it is kickstart, and this is what I got. I want to say it came in a, a wonderful package, and I love the the little plastic envelope it came in on. It kind of reminds me of a, a sealed uh, comic book type thing. I might keep it in here to keep it protected. But I hate the stickiness of it. Let me just say the PDF seemed short, so I should not have so realized that this was a pure. It would have been this thing because the PDF version of this was kind of white as well. This is about as thick thick as what we normally get in from Dungeon in the Box. And uh, when I initially put in put in for this, I forgot to, or I should say, I didn't notice that this was a monster manual. But I digress, it always is good to, when you're doing D&D, have different variants of monsters. And even though a lot of you out there might say, hey, the monster manual is good enough, Monsters of the most Multiverse is good enough, along with it, and everything that is put out by Wizards of the Coast is wonderful. It's awesome, and everything else. Uh, I get that. That's that's great. They're, they're pre-done. But sometimes you need something independent, and something like this is also wonderful. Very wonderful. It uh, provides variety to everything. And you might get different online creators that do D&D like this. Might have different stats for something very similar. So you, that's why something like this is good. You have the different stats. And something like this, something like this is light. It's small. You could put it in a backpack amongst other things when you're doing your own homebrew. And... I like how they kind of made a link homage on the back with their uh, their logo and the this little creature right here. I forgot what it's called in the original Zelda series, but and 
Let's see, isn't that? We've got Weep at Western Resort. Uh, uh, no, they don't. Well, they kind of do. They even they, uh, have a Robo Doom that was in one of the original Zelda games. I think Zelda 2. So, I, I find that in, very interesting. I think a lot of this looks like it is actually Zelda or Zelda 2. Yeah, it seems like it's very Zelda 2 inspired. And that is, I won't say that's a bad thing. If you are a Zelda fan or an old school Zelda fan like me, having something like this could be very interesting for you. It even includes heroes. Uh, for those of you who played the uh, Zelda 2, you, rec you would recognize what happens at the end in regards to hero shadows. So, yeah, this is very, very Zelda 2 inspired. Zelda and Zelda 2 inspired. I'm not knocking it in the least. I just love the fact that, hey, let's do something that is Zelda 2 inspired. So, why not? Oh, uh, why not? It's not everything that's Zelda 2 inspired, but a lot of it is. A lot of it is. But I'm not knocking I was just surprised when I got it in. Will we be getting other D&D stuff in from Kickstarter? Yes, I'm expecting... <laughs> Technically, it should have gotten here right now. It's amazing that something like this has gotten here prior to a lot of other Kickstarters that I've gotten or I've backed over the past year. Uh, there is one I backed mid-August, uh, not mid-August, mid-June, May, maybe June. That's not coming until probably next year. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for shipping for that, but hopefully I'll be able to pay for shipping when it comes or when it's ready. And hopefully the other three items come within the next couple of months. I know one is, should be, the first round of shipments are, I don't know, stuck at sea still. I haven't heard any updates. Uh, that should be a thick book like Crown of the Oath Breaker uh, or a similar thickness to that. Um, I have a bunch of uh, Dragon's Eye dice that are supposed to be coming in. Uh, I, depending on how everything thing, it seems, I should be buying into the hype or or severely disappointed, depending on if I want to listen to the distractors in regards to that. And plus, I have a whole mess of skinny minis coming in the next month or two. And so, who knows what's going to be happening over the next few weeks or a few months for that matter. So. Uh, stay tuned to this channel. I know we have uh, at least another dungeon in a box one shot coming over the next few weeks. And who knows what to talk about on video form. So, either way, stay tuned, everyone out there. Because, hey, we're always going to be putting out content here on our YouTube channel. And we're going to try to put out more content on our audio side. So take care, everybody. I'm the Reverend Godfather. Peace out.